So you want to start a website, maybe somewhere to share your ideas, your thoughts, your photos, or maybe you want to sell products. But there's a pretty big problem. You don't know how to code. And that applies to most people who want to start a website. You don't know how to code. But don't panic. That's all right. We can fix that with exactly what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about content management systems or CMS for short. And CMS are going to allow you to do things like build your website without knowing any code whatsoever. You can start to think of them a little bit like having Lego blocks and you can put things together simply with drag and drop and no code required. Problem solved. Here's how a CMS would typically work. It's going to be separated into two parts. First, you're going to get a user-friendly dashboard, like a big control center with all of your different elements that you can drag and drop and put things into place. Then you're going to have something that's working behind the scenes to essentially turn all of that into a functional and operational website. To use a content management system, you're going to need a domain name, and a website. And once you have those, you are able to take your CMS and install it on your hosting provider. It's actually really, really easy to do. And if you want some more information on that or what domain names or even what hosting providers are the best, you can click the videos that I will link at the end of this one. Now, there are loads of different CMS options out there, but by far the most popular and the one that we recommend Surprisingly, considering we are WP beginner, the WP standing for WordPress is WordPress.org. We recommend WordPress.org over all other CMS systems because quite simply, it's just better. With WordPress, you get complete freedom to design whatever you want using some amazing templates that are going to allow you to do it with no code required. You're also going to get access to thousands and thousands of plugins, which you can consider like apps that you would install on your phone, and they're going to give you amazing functionality. You can go for apps that are going to give you really straightforward functionality and something that you might need on every single website, something like WP Forms, which is going to give you forms capability built into your website. Or you can stretch as far as really trying to design your website in an exact and specific way, changing every different element really, really easily. And you can do that with either something like maybe Seedprod or Thrive Themes. The options are really endless and they range from free to paid, depending on what you need. Now you might be wondering, is a website builder the same as a CMS? And it's not. They do seem similar, but for example, a website builder, something like WordPress.com, Com. There is a difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. We are always recommending WordPress.org. But a website builder like WordPress.com is going to have your hosting bundled in. Everything's kind of together, but you'll generally find that it's going to cost you more money and be a lot more limited than, for example, a CMS like WordPress.org. So if you're looking to create a website easily with no code, a CMS is a great option. And we, of course, recommend WordPress.org. Even though CMS is generally going to be incredibly beginner friendly, if you do find yourself still struggling and you want to hand off that building of your website to somebody else, then do check out WP Beginner Pro Services, where we can do that for you to make a beautiful and incredibly functional website. I'll leave links to that down in the top pin comment and also in the description. And if you want to give this a go for yourself and follow a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a WordPress website, then click this video right here.